Hey everyone, it's Amanda. It's like 20 to 12 at midnight here on the East Coast. I just received a prophetic word from the Lord and I'm going to read it to you. And I'm going to ask everyone to pray. So, by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, may only the truth come forth. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Have your way, Lord, in Jesus' name. A final blow of sorts is going to hit Hollywood in the coming months and is going to severely damage its infrastructure. The protective wall, as Jericho was, is falling. De is falling down. I see a bridge, and the wicked members of Hollywood have, have been herded and chased like cattle onto this bridge. And bright red and white mechanical arms come down like at a train track, trapping them on the bridge. A hand comes from the heavens and begins to cut the wires or cords on the bridge, one by one. And every wire cut, the bridge shakes, and Hollywood screams and panics a bit more, attempting to convince themselves that the bridge is not really falling. They are becoming more irrational in their, quote, escape plans. Some escape by jumping off the bridge. Others are too fearful to even move because there is nowhere to hide anymore. Their sins, like scarlet letters, are wrapped around them in the likeness of serpents. And those serpents that they once wore as a badge of honor have turned on them and begun to squeeze and constrict. And as they squeeze and constrict, blasphemies come forth out of the mouths of those on the bridge. The more they blaspheme God in his holy name, the more wires slash cords are being cut and shaking the bridge more each time. So much so, now it's becoming too difficult for any of them to even stand without stumbling. On the mechanical arms are red lights flashing like warnings. However, those serpent-like creatures wrapped around them are whispering instructions in their ear, literally blinding them to the severity of the situation at hand almost hypnotizing them to bring forth alter egos to utter blasphemies at God. They sold their souls to these serpents for fame. However, it came with a very high price of being instructed at every turn what to think, what to say, and how to act. And now on this bridge, their fame does them no good, for their fame cannot stop the cords from being cut. The cords are scarlet in color, each one representing the blood that was shed and the lives that were taken. The cords cannot contain any more blood. It is evident now that blood is on the hands of Hollywood, and each cord cut by the Lord is going to bring judgment and a shaking to Hollywood. As the cords cut move closer to the middle of the bridge, the shakings will become more severe. Their God cannot save them now, as Baal could not save those nations against Israel. Some will drop to their knees and repent. They will sell out the code of silence and break it. Break the blood code of the secret societies and talk. And expose out of their souls being grieved to capacity with darkness and death. The word of their testimony will liberate them. And some of the captives will be set free. Now is the time to pray. Elijah is standing his ground against the prophets of Baal, and the fire of God will burn up and destroy their wicked plans, making them unsalvageable. And out of the ashes, the truth will rise. Be in prayer and get ready in Jesus' name. That was the word of the Lord given to me this evening at 20 to midnight. So all glory be to God. Please pray about it. And watch right now at the events that will unfold in the coming months. I will be back on tomorrow with a revelation that the Lord had been giving me about uh, grapes on a vine. So God bless you all. Keep the faith. Good night.